The German government has become the latest European country to remove Zambia from the red list of countries with high number of COVID-19 cases. Health Minister Sylvia Masebo, however, says Zambia is still on the red lists with the United Kingdom government and the United States. She says Zambia has been in the green zone from August 21st, 2021 to date, following a drop in cases of COVID-19. The minister has since expressed confidence that the UK, USA and other countries that had put Zambia on the red list will soon remove it from that category, following measures that have been taken to address the pandemic. She was responding to Mansa Central Member of Parliament, Chitalu Chilufia, who wanted to know what measures are in place to ensure Zambia is removed from the red list of countries with high COVID-19 cases. This was during the question for oral answer session in Parliament today. I just want to make a follow-up again on one intervention, testing. Uh, testing, uh, Madam uh, Honourable Minister, uh, is important for the those who are symptomatic and those who are asymptomatic, or those who have got symptoms or those who don't, and those who do not have symptoms. Do you have any plans to set up testing points in all the districts for both symptomatic and asymptomatic? Government, through the Ministry of Health, is working to address some of the concerns of countries who still have us on their red list, and, re and I remain confident of a positive outcome soon. The United Kingdom and other partners have pledged to support the Minister of Health and the Zambia National Public Health Institute in strengthening genomic sequencing and ensuring timely sharing of data. In addition, we will continue rolling out our vaccination and certification program. The House may wish to note that Zambia is now in the green zone with a sustained positivity rate of less than 5% across the country since 22nd of August, 2021. Over 40 pupils at Wiantanshi Technical School in Chingola District on the Copperboard Province have been gassed by unknown people. A check by Zanis at the school found pupils being ferried to Nchanga North General Hospital as others remained unconscious. Here's a report. No sooner had the law enforcers concluded investigations on the tormenting moments of gassing that characterized the country a year ago, Chingola is again making headlines. By broadcast time, over 40 pupils at Chingola Wiatashi Technical Secondary School were reported to have been gassed by unknown persons. School management and residents are in shock. A rush to the school to get first-hand information reviewed units of pupils being ferried to Nchanga North General Hospital for treatment. In the room that uh, one of our credit class in the lens of home was, uh, I would say it was uh, gassed. And a lot of people was found there. Uh, after the people started complaining, some of them started coughing, others experienced uh, itching on the faces and the body. Chingola Mayor Johnson Kangombe and town clerk also rushed to the school to appreciate the situation. We don't want this thing of gassing, uh, cars resurfacing and uh, all sorts of things. And uh, we don't want uh, people like uh, that are want, to, want to embarrass the government. Mm. We are not going to allow that. I think that's why the police they are there. The mayor and his team then rushed to Nchanga North General Hospital to ascertain the situation. Hospital senior medical superintendent Samuel Piri said a comprehensive report to ascertain the number of pupils that have been affected will be issued. Uh, Police and health departments in the district are investigating the incident. That's all we had for you in health news.